So, DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. Um, now, you mentioned that you're not down with cheating. And let's just start yeah. there. Right. Because, look. I know. I don't think they've ever caught many cheaters. Oh, of course they, not. Yeah. They've never caught many cheaters. No. And we've, ta- we've talked about this before. No one who ever tests positive for a PD, with the exception of Julian Edelman, whose response was, I don't know what to say. <laughs> At least he didn't say, well, you know. I was getting fertility I treatment. I don't know what I took. Right, I right. Mean, all or whatever crap. it was. Right. Yeah. There, there's, there's always something other than, for example, I had a knee injury that didn't want to heal. I needed to get myself healed. So I used some stuff that would allow my body to heal because yeah. I'm getting older. Yeah. And these young receivers are coming into the league every single season. They're getting faster. They're getting better. And at some point, my team may say, this guy's no longer worth what we're paying him, so they're going to pay me less or they're going to get rid of me altogether. So I got to do whatever I have to do to get myself healthy. So, you know, did I use something I shouldn't have? Yes, I did, but I made that calculation and I got caught. Okay. Okay. That, you never hear that. I, you never hear that. I, that, that yeah. never ha- that, that never happens. They've got this whole program aimed at catching guys who are doing that, and they never catch anyone who's doing that. Well, I and and to me, like that, that's where I said there's different levels a little bit. I I do have a little bit of forgiveness in my heart if that's the way it is there. But just come out and say it. That's where I I don't right. like this this game of sh- you know bull crap and everything. And I don't know where I got this. I've been obsessed with my whole body my whole life, and now some. Foreign substance just somehow got in there. Like, bull crap. Bull crap. I would totally take injury year like you talked about last year, what it was, the hamstring first, and then it became the knee, right? To go, you know, I was trying to expedite the healing process, and I took some things to try to do that. That, okay. I have a, a, a place in my heart to where I can get around that. Right. And, and but I want to see that. I want to know that. I want you to admit that, you know, I'd like tangible evidence of that because my mind goes other places when when I don't know. I start to go, damn, has DeAndre Hopkins been doing this for a few years? Has he been doing it for most of his career? Has he always been cheating? I don't know. Has he just this the first time he's got caught? Because, you know, again, it, it, that's it, so I don't know. And that's where I wish there was a little more transparency in the process and we didn't have to deal with this kind of issue all the time. And the way that it all unfolded yesterday, the announcement was made, and I don't know whether or not reports emerged before the announcement was made. I never like that when it happens because right. it's supposed to be confidential. I don't like it when it gets leaked before the announcement's made. But he did have an appeal, and there are real appeal rights now. He dropped his appeal. He's taking the six-game suspension. And we were left to wonder for a while what was really going on. Now, at some point, he had a brand manager because he's self-represented. Yes, I saw that. He had a brand manager text a long statement to Shefty who posted it. And it basically conveys the gist of what we're talking about. Completely shocked. Very careful about what he puts in his body. October and December tests were negative. We're investigating how the November test came back positive. He's committed to demonstrating he did not knowingly take a banned substance. He's never once tested positive throughout his career. Now, listen. Hang on, Pete. I know, Pete. Let me get to it, Pete. I'm getting there, Pete. Um, I think what happened was the brand manager decides, I'll try to put this fire out yeah, sure. without DeAndre having to put his name on it personally. Right. And we don't we don't like as a brand manager, my my expert assessment client is that I didn't manage your brand very well. Maybe you should try this. It didn't it didn't go over real well for me. Maybe you should try it. So Hopkins issues basically the same damn thing an hour or two later, which is just weird. It's just weird. Everything about this is weird, but it's always weird because no one ever stands up and says, I tried to cheat the system and I got caught. And and this idea that and don't don't tell me you never once test a positive throughout your we would know if you did because you would have been suspended before. Right. I, I went my whole life and I never killed anybody except the month that I did. I mean, yeah, I don't that, care that you I never tested you. positive right, before. Right. I, I don't care. You're expected you to not now. test positive. Right. And if you do, you get suspended. Right? Yes. I never robbed a bank before this month. That's not a defense to robbing a bank. 
Absolutely this, not. But here's what happens. Yeah. And there's there's DeAndre Hopkins' statement. Same thing. In my 10-year career, I've never tested positive. Well, you can't say never. You did once. To learn that my November test came back with trace elements of a banned substance, I was confused and shocked. Very mindful of what I put in my body. Yada, yada, yada. It's all the same. It's all the same. And look, if, you got, if, you, if you're that mindful of what you put in your body, you know what you do, Chris? You only use supplements that have been pre-approved by the NFL and the NFLPA. And you don't go off-label. You don't go off-brand. You don't right. use anything other than what's on that list because that stuff you never hear. You never hear someone say, you know what? I only used the NFLPA and NFL approved supplements and this happened to me. You never hear that. You know why? Because they tweaked the rules at some point in the past decade where if somebody lies about the circumstances or they're positive, the league can say, no, that guy, everything that guy just said is bull crap. Right. Thank you. Right. So you got to be very careful. So this is the one safe harbor you still have. You're not saying I didn't, it didn't show up in my test. You're not lying about the outcome. You're lying about if you're lying. Yeah. Again, it's How possible all these happen? guys are telling the truth and right. they never catch a truth. They've never it's possible that he and everyone else that has tried this is telling the truth and they've never caught a deliberate cheater. Except for Julian Edelman who said, I don't know what to say. But the fact that and I think we've talked about this before, the fact that there's strict liability allows this excuse. Because anything in your body, no matter how it gets there, you test positive, you're suspended. So when you test positive, you can say, I don't know how it got there. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Right. Strict liability. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they sprinkled it on my salad when I went out to eat the other night. I don't know how it got there. I, I, I right. I, I mean, but that's just the that's the bull crap that's hard to believe. And I I mean I like DeAndre Hopkins. I've spent time with him. I mean, he's cool. He seems like the realest dude there is. I, I mean, yes, but I have a hard time buying this one. I do. I, I mean, yes. And then, you know, also trace elements, you know, things like that. Oh, to like uh, you know, say, oh, it's small amounts, all right. Um, then do a drop the appeal. Obviously he knew there was no way to finagle it down to a four. It was obviously like a very guilty, right? Or they just felt like, well, there's no point in dragging this through First the mud. First defense is six. It, period. You, you know, right. You've got into, it's a, it's a, it's a more independent appeal process than it used to be, but, but he knew he wasn't going to beat it. And, and this, this defense is not a defense. If you go in and say, yeah, I tested positive, but I don't know what happened, they're going to bang the gavel and say six games. That's not a defense. No, it's not a defense. It's not. And, and again, you know, I, I, I just wish, you know, come out, say it. That's where I, I, I want to I wanna know. You know. Again, was it in between? Okay, wait, you know, the, he had the game. I can't remember the specific game where he, he went up to catch the pass right in the end zone. Somebody landed on his knee. That's where he hurt his knee. Was it within those next weeks? Were you doing something to heal a ligament, hoping, okay, maybe I can get back for the playoffs and help my football team? You know, I, I, I can get into that. Like, but you got to show me the tangible evidence and proof of that's what it was. Like, and that's where you went from it. You know, other than that, yeah, it, it's dicey. I don't believe that. Wide receivers are pretty obsessive about their bodies. Uh, there's no way that just some element or something like that just got into the bloodstream or whatever without you knowing. I have a hard time buying that. I do. So that's where it's tough. And then, you know, you talk about like some of the, the public stuff and how it's all set up and they can't, you know, deny that they, they didn't test positive. This is where I wish the league would change this. I wish the NFLPA would get behind this too. I wish they would make all this stuff public. If they made it public to me, that would be the number one defense to stop people from doing it. Because then the embarrassment, the public embarrassment is what's going to stop players more than anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's going to be out there what I did. And now everyone's going to think I'm a fraud. And, you know, everyone's going to question everything I did in my career. And that's what I don't like about this either. And, and, of course, you've said it. They just players can hide behind this, you know, these certain phrases all the time to, to act like they didn't do it. But let's drill down on this a little bit, because if the NFL and the NFLPA were to disclose today yeah. what he tested positive for and by what amounts, he would still say, I don't know how it happened. I, he could still say I, I, that. I guess you're Whatever right. Whatever it is. Right. I don't know how it happened. Right. I he don't could. know how it happened. If it's so, crazy amounts, so, I mean, you know, people are going to go, oh, yeah, OK, you don't know how that happened. Right. It's it's whoa. It's egregiously above the level. Really? You don't know how that happened? You know, I mean, then you're going to just look like a blatant liar, but you're right. You'll still be able to say that. Now, now, I, I'd, I'd have to research the 
policy, which is a fancy way of saying I don't know the answer, as to whether or not if you misrepresent the concentration of the substance, right. that that opens the door for the league to say it right. really wasn't trace elements. It really wasn't trace elements. There was enough there to tell us it, it, this wasn't something that got accidentally mixed in with whatever he bought down at the GNC, that this is something he was taking. You don't get these numbers if the guy's not really taking it. So I don't know that he's stepped in it by saying trace elements, but maybe it is trace elements. And again, it doesn't matter because trace elements are still a positive test. Not knowing how it got in your system is still a positive test. Those are the rules. So whatever you're doing to be obsessive about your body, you're not being obsessive enough because something happened to cause you to break the rules. But again, the mere existence of that rule allows you to say when it happens, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I'm very careful about what I put in my body. I don't know what happened. I intend to get to the bottom of this. As soon as I have more information, I will share it. You know what I can guarantee you right now? I can't guarantee you many things in life. Death taxes, and we're never going to hear anything about this again. I guarantee you. He's not going to get to the bottom of it. He's not going to sue anybody over You know, you hear that every once in a while. I think when Sean Merriman tested positive at one point, I'm going to sue somebody and get to the bottom. I'm going to sue the supplement manufacturer. Maybe he did. I don't know. Maybe somebody actually went through. I don't think anybody's ever gotten to the point where they've gone through with something like that, pushing the ruse that far. If it is a ruse, again, I don't know. I feel bad for the one guy who's telling the truth. I feel bad for the one guy who can say, honestly, in a way that would pass a lie detector test, in a way that would come out if you give him sodium pentothal, I really don't know what happened because they all say I don't know what happened. We've never caught a cheater. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.